Hello, hello, hello. Hi, my sweet, sweet, sweet sleepyheads. Hi, my sweet sleepyheads. Did you miss me? <laughs> I, um, I've been gone for a bit because stuff on my end has been really crazy hectic. And as you know, this is not my full-time gig, but I try and make things extra special for you guys whenever I can. Um, and I was kind of putting off this video to make sure that I could do it at a time where I wasn't rushed and I felt like I was giving you guys my all. So, today is a very special video because I've hit 10,000 subscribers, which makes me really emotional, and I'm going to try not to get emotional on camera, but um, some of you were in a live with me when I hit 10,000, and I was trying to play it cool, but I left the live, and I shed a couple tears. Um, happy tears, obviously, but this is like a total dream for me, and I never thought that it would happen. So, I wanted to tell you guys about me tonight, and it will be super rambly, and I'm going to answer some of your questions and tap on and show you some of my favorite things, like products I use, things I have in my room, and all that good stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoy, 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 and get very sleepy. Also learn a little bit about me. And I hope it's tingly, tingly, tingly. <laughs> or at least entertaining. So, to start off, why don't I just answer some questions first? The big questions. So, I'm not going to do a name reveal necessarily in this video. But, I know a lot of you call me Slumber, 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 Space ASMR. But I figure, if you're here for 10k, especially if you've been here from the get-go, you should call me something more personal, if you'd like, if that helps. So, I will be divulging into that in just a little bit. But let's see, what are some other things that you guys have been asking me? Um, oh, let's start off with some fun ones, like all the icebreakers. So, my, I've been doing ASMR for almost three, 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 three months, three months, so I'm a newbie. I'm a total newbie, but you guys are very sweet, and you don't make me feel like a newbie. You make me feel, and not like a pro, but you make me feel like I don't make newbie content, so that's very sweet. Um, I started doing ASMR because I've been watching it for like eight years, and I really, 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 really love it for sleep and anxiety and taking away, taking away the stress. And some of my initial go-to ASMRs were Josie B. Good night, Moon. GB. I think those were the three that I really started with. Um, but there's so many of so many different ASMRs that I really, really love and enjoy watching. Um, and some I haven't even mentioned. But, you know, I've done a collab with Strawberry Cat. Um, the Strawberry Cat ASMR. There will be more collabs to come. And I just really enjoy a wide range of very, very soothing, calming ASMR. So, let's see. Um, I am a November baby, and I am a November Scorpio, a Scorpio, Scorpio, November Scorpio. If that means anything to you, I am also a Capricorn rising and a Capricorn sun. Or a Capricorn moon. No, no, my sun. I'm sorry, I messed it up. My sun is Scorpio. My rising and my moon are Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. 
I don't know what any of that really means. I know a little, a little bit about my son, about Scorpio. But if you guys want to assess me in the comments, feel free. I won't get my feelings hurt. Tell me who I'm compatible with. <laughs> Let's see. My favorite color. My favorite color is green. And I also like yellow um, and blue. I like a lot of things, but green is top tier. Um, I really like all animals, but my spirit animal, so to say, I think I mentioned this in a video, is a hummingbird, which is kind of funny because I make haze more, but sometimes I'm like pew 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 pew. And I really like flowers and being outside and nature, so that just feels fitting. I would consider myself, I don't know, maybe an extroverted introvert. So like of the introverts, I'm very extroverted. But all in all, I like my me time. I like my me time. Um, sometimes as I've gotten older, I've gotten more and more introverted. Um, I am on the east coast of the United States of America. Um, I want to eat Eastern Standard Time, so if you guys ever come to one of my lives or I schedule a post and I say a time, it is Eastern Standard Time. Let's see. I know. Three languages. English very well. Spanish enough to have a conversation. And Polish very little and only when my mom speaks to me or my grandmother because my mom was born in so, I know how to say I love you in all three languages, and that is the most important thing to me. Because when I love somebody, I want to tell them. And I love you guys. 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 Go home, chippy. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I don't have it on right now. Um, this is just something I threw on this morning, but this is the one I wear in most of my videos. And I really, really like it. I've bought it very often. It is my go-to. <laughs> it is very hard to take off. A lot of people have a love-hate relationship with it, but in all honesty, this is what I use and this is what works for me. So. Alright, let me see. Another beauty product that I love that you guys will never be able to really witness, but I can share. It's my go-to perfume. It's called Extra Milk. And it is vegan by Dead Cool, or it is vegan, and it is by Dead Cool, D-E-D-C-O-O-L. It has like hints of amber. It says it's genderless. It has a little bit of a musky scent to it, but it's very floral. And it's an oil, kind of, like it sprays like a perfume, but it leaves an oil residue. So it stays longer. <laughs> In case you guys like the sound, maybe you can subconsciously smell it. <laughs> I hope so. Because it smells really nice. You can waft it. This is my pride and joy. <laughs> it's my signature scent.
something else that I really like that you guys have seen in my videos. Maybe a couple of you are my jelly cats. Now I don't want to hear it. I love these jelly cats. And this one was gifted to me. They're both gifted to me by very special people in my life. So, <laughs> this one was gifted to me by my twin sister. And her name is Peony, like the flower. She's a little pink butterfly. And I love her dearly. She's very soft and cozy. If you guys don't have jelly cats, you should, because they're so cute and smiley. But they're kind of expensive for a stuffed animal, I'm not gonna lie. But I love my jelly cats, because people I love gave them to me. And this is my dragon. got sparkly wings and his name is Miso. Miso. It's kind of silly, but I love them, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Next, something fun about me. Maybe fun? It's fun for me. Is that I make I really like collaging, not like scrapbooking per se, but just like finding old magazines and stuff and putting pictures together. And I always try and have a theme. So this one is my most recent and it is called Plenty of Fish in the Sea. And I just cut out all of these little pictures of fish and corals. Here there's people on a boat. We have some old art, some people swimming, mermaid, boat, things like that. It's quite silly, and it's not that serious, but I really like doing it. So, this is something I do that relaxes me outside of ASMR. I also have some more products that I really like and enjoy that I thought that you guys might want to see some little beauty products. Not that I'm a beauty influencer by any means, but this my tried and true. I'm not wearing it right now, but I wear this for almost all my videos. If you are a member, you've seen this in my makeup tutorial, Makeup Get Ready With Me. This is not really my shade right now, because I am a little bit pasty. But it's the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And it's not really a foundation or anything, it's just a really nice glowy very thin, it's very light. And I love the pump. I like the little applicator. I'm sorry if that was too loud. Also, I painted my nails, but they're really bad, so. little dry shampoo. I don't think you can hear that. I can't even hear that, <laughs> if we're being honest. But it's a little dry shampoo powder. When my hair is just feeling a little flat or dull, this is how I take care of it. And it smells really nice. And this is just something that I don't leave the house without. Lastly, 
for the beauty products is this Dr. Paul Paul's Red Balm. It's kind of like a aquaphor consistency, but it has a red hue to it, a red tint. And I love it. I carry it around all the time. And I'll put some on for you guys. It is very soothing. It's not sticky at all. And it's not too bright. It's very natural. It makes me feel very pretty. <laughs> and you can also put it on your cheeks. And it will give you a little, well, I think I put too much, but it will give you a little Maybe I should have done that off camera, but we're being real and raw and intimate tonight. See, it's just cute and rosy. Cute and rosy. But that is one of my favorites. One of my ghost go to's. If you guys have been subscribed for a minute, you guys know that I've been blowing through this series. This is the Akatar series, A Court of Thorns and Roses. That is the name of the first book, but there's a whole series of books. And this is book three, and I'm currently on it. It is pretty lengthy, pretty thick. And I have not really made a dent because I've been so busy. But it is amazing. One day I'm going to have to do a little book review on this series once I finish, maybe. It has a lot of fantasy elements. It is very action-packed. There's like some war in there, fighting for love and revenge. There's a bunch of fairies and humans and magic and all that good stuff, which I really like. It's just a nice break from the real world. And this series is a little So sometimes it keeps you on your toes. So I would recommend it for an older crowd, but I'm not one to pass judgment. I have friends that read this at a very young age, so. But it's enjoyable even if you skip over those parts because there's a lot of good romance and action and all those good things. And clearly, there's a lot going on, so this is my current read. I will give you guys an update when I finish, but if you're reading the series along with me, let me know who your favorite characters are and how you're feeling. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think of more questions about myself that I can answer. Um, I know some of you know that I'm a twin twin sister. She's lovely. I mentioned that when I talked about the jelly cats. She's my best friend. She does not live with me. Sadly, she lives in a different city, but I saw her this past weekend for Easter, and I saw my family. Um, I grew up with her and my mom, um, because my dad passed away when I was ten. Um, but my mom is now remarried and very happy, and I really like my bonus family. So, if you guys are going through something like that right now, just know that I can relate, um, and I really feel for you. 
Another big question that people have had is about my personal love interests and I've mentioned this I think in one or two videos and um, I think one's in my memberships though anyway and maybe on my live but people because of my WLW role plays people are like hey you <laughs> who are you interested and to that, I answer, I am just interested in the person and not the gender. And there are terms to describe that, but we don't even have to use them if it makes things more complicated. The only thing that matters to me is someone who is a great person. I bonus if you're attractive. But gender, whatever, that doesn't matter to me. So, if that answers your question, <laughs> which I know that's kind of vague, but it's the truth. So, <laughs> oh, I said that I would let you guys know what you can call me if you so please. Now, I am totally fine with slumber or slumber space, but I know some people want maybe something more intimate and tangible. They want to know me, which I totally get. So, drum roll please. I can't do it because it'll be too loud. If you guys want, you can call me A B A B like the first two letters of Um, my twin sister calls me that, and so my family, and you guys are like a little family to me. So, I think it is perfectly fitting for you guys to call me that as well, if you so please. But I am fine with slumber, or slumber space, or darling, or whatever you guys want to call me, okay? Okay, okay, okay. And I will continue to call you guys. My sweet, 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 my sweet sleepyheads, and my my loves, and all of those other very cute terms of endearment, because that's how I feel about you. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back to tapping. Let's get back to tapping. I love to listen. What a better thing to tap on than one of my finals. This one is Camp Z C A A M P. Camp writes like alternative folky music. And I was introduced to them when I went to a concert. I saw RKS, for those of you who are a fan. I know a lot of you have seen my poster that's typically hung up back here. I took it down because I was filming a custom roleplay. But I saw RKS and camp was opening for RKS way back when. So. That's how I was introduced to them. And I think they're very nice. They have a very nice sound. Very relaxing. But I also really like Hosier. I like... Um, gosh, every time I answer these questions, I feel like my mind goes so blank. I like Kiss and ACDC and Led Zeppelin. Because I'm really into like older rock. Um, I love the Arctic Monkeys. Um, I want to go see them in concert, but they're not going to be in the United States for a long, long time. Um, I like Mitski 
and it will come on. I like, guys, I like so many different people. I'm going to see Blonde Shell soon. There's so many different people that I really like artists that I learned to love and really appreciate. But some artists I only like like one or two songs by. So it's kind of hard to say like they're my favorite artists, but I'm really into all kinds of music. So, I don't know. <laughs> I also really like R&B and like 80s music. <laughs> if you guys have any song recommendations, for me, feel free because I will likely listen to them and I will likely love them because if you guys are watching my videos then I trust your taste <laughs> I hope that doesn't sound cocky I hope that doesn't sound cocky I don't mean it that way <laughs> okay, this is going to be controversial I really like this cup. I really like this cup. I did not purchase it for myself. I was gifted it via work. Because <laughs> I did an internship and they gave a lot of the interns these, to which I'm very grateful. But I know that these are very controversial cups because some people are very obsessed with them and some people are very not. But I'm a huge beverage drinker, so this is very nice and handy, and it makes nice sounds. But I am also a black coffee, black coffee drinker. I really like bitter things and tart, citrusy things. Um. martinis. I like dry red wine. Like the not sweet at all. And I like gin and tonics because my family's European so naturally. <laughs> um, in regards to food, I really like savory food. I am a flexitarian, if you will, and I don't eat beef or pork. I only eat poultry, so like chicken, and I eat seafood because my favorite food is sushi. My favorite food is sushi. I love sushi. And um, I'll eat any type of sushi. I don't care. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. And I really like pizza <laughs> and I love to cook so I make a lot of stuff at home like different recipes and Mediterranean food and all that good stuff let's see I want to answer all your questions uh, I really I really like to go dancing on the weekends. That's like my favorite thing is to go grab a drink with my girlfriends and go dancing. And I would say I'm a night owl, which is fitting for ASMR. Um, I really like to hike. I do yoga. And I'm not the best at it. I think I'm getting very good at it um, and I really like the peace of mind but also just like the mind-to-body connection 
I'm getting way more flexible. <laughs> I'm in tune with my mind and body and soul and all those good things. Um, another thing is, as you can see, I wear a lot of gold jewelry. Gold jewelry, gold jewelry. And that is my preference. This one was gifted to me. And it is supposed to represent people I love. I am the sun, and my twin sister is the moon, and my good friend is a star. So we're all together. But um, that's very special to me, so I wear it. But my preference is gold. My preference is gold. Not real gold. I can't afford that, but <laughs> unless I'm gifted it, which that would, that's very nice. Like, I've had family heirlooms, but, um, <laughs> let me think. My favorite type of ASMR to watch are the pluck, 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 plucking or facial adjustment videos. I think they're so fun. Um, I love the propless ASMR role plays when you like you have a blender and you pop fruit in there and you peel the banana. I think Alyssa ASMR does that. I think it's Alyssa ASMR. Um, I'm so sorry if that's wrong. I love any type of role play. I think they're so fun and it, I like the interactive. I love the personal questions video. And I forgot her username, but someone named Pamela, I believe it's Pamela, does so many personal questions, or just like questions, videos, and trivia, that I love, I love, I love, I love. I'll link her down in the description, as, as, as well as a lot of my other fav favorite ASMR artists. I can't talk. Another fun fact about me is I used to be a very avid, avid nail biter. Because I was very anxious. And it wasn't until pretty recently that I've let my nails grow. Because I've just let a lot of things go. And I've had some different avenues to control my stress levels. Plus, I need nail support ASMR. <laughs> and I like the fake ones, but they can be expensive. Is my triggers that I hate doing. I don't like doing mouth sounds and I don't like listening to them. But I do it for you guys. I do it for you guys. I don't like spoolies or teeth tapping or anything in my mouth either. Um, that's the only no mouth sound I like. <laughs> and the kisses. But, um, I also don't like doing anything where I have to have too many props because I'm still new so sometimes it really stresses me out um, like if I had to wear like a bunch of makeup and wigs and stuff it would really stress me out because I'm, I'm still getting used to it I've tried a couple things for some customs but I'm still a newbie I'm still a newbie I'm still a newbie so thank you guys for going easy on me and, oh, one that I love, that I see on TikTok, is the wood soup, <laughs> the wood soup girl. Oh, and I like the, what are they? The tingle tubes, the tingle tubes. I need a tingle tube one day. They're super fun, and they're super cute. Let's see. I don't have any pets, but I want pets. I want a cat first, because I think that that would be the most relaxing for me and easy to take care of. But, I don't know. I've had cats in the past that have been a little wild, a little crazy. <laughs> crazy cats, crazy cats, crazy cats, crazy cats. And, um, my place now does not allow animals. So, I can't have one right now. But 
I am moving in August of this year. I'm moving to a new place. So I'll have a new setup and everything for you guys. And I'm so pumped. I'll have a special ASMR room and I'll do my backdrop and it'll be consistent and it'll be lovely and beautiful and all in school and I'm almost done but I'm trying to be diligent get my degrees I do have a job lined up so ASMR can't be my full time job just yet but I do really enjoy it and I'm going to continue to do it even when I'm working because I care about you guys Duh. and I really enjoy this but I'm studying economics which are just like two totally different things but I deal with money and government <laughs> and then with you I deal with you in different ways <laughs> I deal with you to go to sleep and then sometimes if I'm feeling really funky I'll be a little flirty with you guys but all in good measure all in good fun <laughs> some people ask me if I am you guys because I'm coy and shy. Plus you guys are the only ones that deserve it. Everybody else. No. You guys. Yes. So you guys get special treatment. You guys get special treatment. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed this Also like the snapping and clicking, just because they're nice ambiance sounds, ambient noise. Um, I'm trying not to answer too many questions because I did that specially for my memberships. I answered all my personal questions, so <laughs> those are the more saucy ones. But. I just wanted to be cute and want you guys to get to know me. Oh, I have one more thing to show you. One more thing. Look how beautiful. A friend gifted this to me. And it's a little clam and a pearl. And I think this is, oh. a little nightlight almost and it's very precious and I sleep with it by my bed and I don't know I just felt like this was a gift that was very me and so I really enjoy it and I thought of it to you guys because it's so pretty and iridescent and it reminds me a lot of me or it reminded somebody of me, which maybe says something to you guys. Anyway, oh, I thought that was a fun find. I'm gonna make sure I turn that off so we don't waste the batteries. But it's just like a little. Is somewhat informative or entertaining and I probably should have had a list of questions but I wanted to make sure that 
this wasn't scripted at all. It was just nice for you guys to get to know me a little bit more authentically and to know that I really do care and I love you guys and you're special enough for me to want to open up. So, <laughs> thank you guys for 10k. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all of your support and love and to find these videos comforting, calming, tingly, flirty, whatever you, whatever you like, and then I can be there